You know, we have an obligation to do our jobs. And part of that is to honor the former president and to set the stage. We've got to win the House, the Senate and the White House in the 2024 elections. And that means we've got to get Donald Trump elected. And so let's send a message to America. Let's just send a message to our allies that we're serious about this and we're going to win. And again, like I said, our country is overwhelmed right now with the illegal immigrants. Why? Because of Joe Biden. Uh, Lake and Riley is dead because of Joe Biden. 14 year old girls in Virginia and Louisiana were raped because of illegal aliens and because of Joe Biden. It's time that we push back against this nonsense against this wokeness that is sweeping our nation. And look, it's up to you and I to continue to fight for conservative causes. And why not put it in their face and say, you know what, we're going to honor the president and we're going to name the airport after him. Now, usually things are named after presidents after they leave office. <laughs> Could this be a little premature? Well, you know what, again, uh, let, let's keep fighting. And, but again, I'm going to go back to the fact, look at where we are as a nation. Our enemies are on the move around the world. Why? Because we appear weak. It is time that we put a, a flag, a stake in the ground and say enough is enough. And part of that is to send a message to Joe Biden is that Donald Trump was better than you are. His policies were better than your policies. The world was a better place under Donald Trump than under you. And so, again, uh, I give kudos, shout out to Reschenthaler for doing this. When he asked if I would co-sign, there was not a hesitation whatsoever. Look, I've endorsed uh, Donald Trump. I do believe I was the first member of Congress that he endorsed for this uh, cycle going into 2024. Why? Yeah. Because I think he's the next leader of the free world. All right, let's talk about Mike Johnson, because he's the guy that can, can make sure this gets to the floor for a vote. And if it passes, it goes to the Senate. Then the national media have yeah. to talk more about mm -hmm. uh, Donald J. Trump That's International right. Airport out there in Virginia. In Dulles, nobody knows who John Foster Dulles is. They might know his brother, Alan Dulles. Mm -hmm. Controversial. Both were somewhat controversial. So is Donald Trump. That's fine. There's no elected official that doesn't come with some controversy. I, I'm wondering, though, if Mike Johnson needs to do more of this. So fine, if he puts it to the floor for a vote and he can whip the votes and make sure it passes, it's kind of a troll because it might not go anywhere <laughs> in the Senate. But Mike Johnson doesn't do stuff like this. Does he need to do more of this? I would think so. And, and like you just said, you know, for the last three or four days, you know, all the media has been talking about is us renaming this airport or trying to rename the airport. You know, I've been getting alerts day in and day out about my name being mentioned in all these articles from the USA Today to Time to, to you know, the, the whatever gazette around uh, the country and around the world. And so what you just said is right. We're, we're keeping Trump's name in the forefront front. It's earned media for him. And as we continue to push forward. And, and like you said, I would I would want uh, Mike Johnson, he's a friend of mine, full disclosure, uh, to be more bold, to make some more aggressive play calls. Uh, I've been critical of some of his play calls. But that being said is we have a fight. We have an agenda and a message that we have to win. And as Republicans, sometimes we don't do the best job at that. Yeah. And this yeah. is an opportunity for, as you say, for Mike Johnson to be I, bold. I think he's got to go on the attack. I also think you could add to your, so the bill's only two pages. I was looking at it this morning. You need more <laughs> concrete examples of things that have been renamed because, and not just, you know, the, the North Falmouth Elementary School or, you know, a library or a post office. Mm -hmm. I, this morning, you think about uh, Houston Intercontinental Airport was named after George H.W. Bush. Mm -hmm. Now it's George H.W. Bush Intercontinental Airport. Uh, Mount McKinley right. out in Washington, highest peak in North America. I didn't realize it had been renamed. It's called Denali now, right? I did not realize Sears that Sears Tower <laughs> in Chicago, Willis Tower. It'll always be the Sears Tower to me. Same with right. the John Hancock in Boston. Yeah. But things are renamed all the time. So how do you respond to the critics who are saying the Repul Republicans just aren't serious enough? Well, uh, again... They, they criticize us for good policy. You know, we, we, had, we had House Bill 1, which was the best immigration bill, the most conservative immigration bill uh, that's been passed by Congress, and the Democrats didn't do a darn thing. We had House Bill 2, which was a, an energy policy that would restore America as the, the dominant energy producer in the world, and the Democrats didn't do anything. So we passed good policy, and they complain about it. We try to rename an airport, and they complain about it. How about they stop complaining and fix some of the problems that are going around, uh, going on in this country, like a broken border, like a broken economy, like runaway inflation, and let's get back to the business of being the dominant predator and the number one superpower in the world. I'm with you, right. and I like the way you put that. But you know, <laughs> you know there's a little bit of a, just a little bit of a tweak to Democrats with this, because every day they'd have to fly back to their districts, and they'd have to fly out at Donald J. Trump <laughs> International Roger that. Maybe, maybe just a little bit of a jab. <laughs> there's, I think it's, there's a lot of that there, yeah. and I like that. I think there should be more of that. Congressman, right, thank Congressman. you.